you are listening to ksg podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited and edited for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about uk's homes for ukraine refugee scheme source for the content is shiny vargis's article for the indian express nearly 3 million people have fled ukraine to neighboring countries as a result of russian aggression and the numbers are steadily rising according to the united nations high commissioner for refugees that is unhcr the uk government in march 2022 introduced the homes for ukraine scheme which allows residents to host displaced ukrainians in their own homes or independent accommodation for 6 months to a year michael gov secretary of state for leveling up housing communities launched the web page for sponsors to register for the scheme which opens visa applications on 18th of march 2022 while gov himself has said that he would be willing to be a host british actor benedict cumberbatch too said he would play his part at the recent british academy film awards the doctor strange star said there have been a record number of people volunteering to take people into their homes i hope to be part of that myself and also donating to charities who can help people in a very real way on the ground now how the homes for ukraine scheme works the scheme allows individuals charities communities groups and businesses in the uk across nationalities to bring in ukrainians in phase 1 of the scheme the sponsor can choose whom to support be it an individual more than one adult or adults with children hosts will be subject to safeguard and security checks so will the guests while they are expected to give rent free rooms the uk government will offer an optional thank you payment of 350 pounds a month which can continue till 12 months of sponsorship local authorities will be given 10000 pounds for helping each ukrainian refugee through this new scheme besides funds for providing education to school children now how it works for ukrainians uk's home secretary preeti patel informed that ukrainians with international passports can directly apply online for entry without the need to visit a visa application center they can remain in the uk for 3 years and will have full and unrestricted access to state benefits healthcare schooling and employment they will need to be vetted before entry and biometric checks will be made in the uk after arrival Now let's go through the history. The UK has in the past devised historic processes for refugees. In 1938, the British government conducted a 9-month rescue operation for Jewish children fleeing the Nazi pogrom called Kinder Transport. The parents or relatives had to provide a 50-pound bond to be assured of their ultimate resettlement and it was assumed they could reconnect with their families once the crisis was over. The children had temporary travel documents they were taken on trains to belgian or dutch borders and then to england on ship however most children never saw their parents again almost a year later in 1939 the uk again wore its worker gloves to help refugees soon after the passing of norwegian statesman and polar explorer Fridtjof Nansen the Nansen passports recognized internationally as refugee travel documents from 1922 to 1938 issued by the League of Nations were discontinued the office international Nansen 2 was closed it then resumed as the office of the high commissioner for refugees with its headquarters in london many famous people have been Nansen passport holders including the composer Igor Stravinsky and Sergei Rachmaninov and the dancer Anna Pavlova That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening to join KSG in the courses and to crack the IELTS exam visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com. Thanks for listening.